good evening Mission Patrol. Tonight we're going to be fixing on some of the automation that we have here. We're actually going to be fixing, uh, if you notice this used to be a gray box, I got it here in my hands. Uh, this is lane 2, the one that I burned out. I've uh, since taken it down and what I found was the problem. One, I burned out uh, this relay here. Uh, then I had a few wires that because it shorted uh, melted through that needed to be repaired. So I fixed those. I had a few of the DC plugs that I wired backwards. That was embarrassing. So I got those all fixed. I uh, tested everything inside. It all works. And let me show you here. We made some updates here. So put these two items in as well as this uh, 12 volt power. And then this is signal one, signal two. These are uh, bundles of eight signals. Uh, custom cable here uh, going into the mega. This is the reason why we needed a mega right here is because of all these signals. All of these signal bunches here, S1 and S2, are for the relays, for the lighting, and for uh, the microgreens and the fans that go in the lane. So that's the main reason why I ended up going with the mega. So that's all connected. Uh, everything tested out and I need to remount this up here tonight. I need to wire it back into the main power and then I also got this box here that will give you some close ups here once I get this up. So let me get this put up and then we'll go over this box here which just to lift the kit out of the bag is the 120 volt uh, bus and it has the signals coming in, the relays and the uh, ground and neutral bars. So let's get this put up. So I've really come to appreciate the simplicity of these uh, quick connect items here. Whoever thought of those, the electrician who thought of those, nice job. Uh, especially when you're doing stuff like this where you're kind of not really sure what you're doing and you need to connect and disconnect stuff fairly often. This is really nice. You just flip these little orange uh, levers up here and then flip them back down and that locks everything in place. Pretty nice. There we are. Uh, all the 120 volt power is connected. I need to look here. This. Out of the way. Oh, I'll tight there. Oh, hold it up. Okay. So now I want to talk about the 120 volt bus. What we got going, oh, those are loose. Those are loose. Tighten that back. There we go. Don't want to start off with loose wires. Okay, so uh, let's talk about the 120 volt bus. First, lessons learned. Uh, when I did the first automation units uh, last year, just a little bit later than where I'm at right now as far as in the year goes. I think I was out here in October, November doing automation. And here we are at the end of September. So I'm a little ahead of last year. Uh, but last year I combined 12 volt and 120 volt power together. And that was a big no-no. So now what we have is we have 120 going into a 12 volt box to give it 12 volt. And then we everything in there is all 12 volts. So the only thing going in that box is main power, which is the equivalent of me taking a power cord and plugging it in. Uh, this is a 120 volt bus. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be running 12 volt power over, like so. And then we have signal power, which is five volt coming in to a 16 channel relay. Uh, the relay is connected to the line power so that each of the relays uh, has 120 volts to it and then uh, we have the neutral and the ground bar. We have uh, cable glands coming out so one, two, three, four, five cable glands on the bottom uh, for the lighting and we have another cable gland coming out the side for the fan so that this switch up here or not switch but outlet is actually going to be run off of this once I program uh, the relay. So tonight I don't have the code written, 
I'm just electrically connecting everything up, making sure lights and stuff do what they're supposed to do. Uh, and then I'll also be running uh, the lighting off of this over to uh, the first of five uh, bed re or, um, receptacle boxes uh, with uh, 120 volt plugs in it. So uh, I got, I'm using ethernet cable uh, for my signals. Uh, these are capable of holding uh, up to 12 volts and uh, I think it's up to 12 volts. It's at least 12 volts, but I think it might go higher, but um, I'm using just five volts coming in across here. There's eight cables in each one. These are custom made. I have the tools and everything from last year. So that worked out. Uh, what else? I really like the cable glands. I think they're great for prototyping. Um, they're certainly electrically approved you know, for electricians to use them. But I like them just because they're very forgiving. Um, and then I also went with round ethernet connections here. I found these, made it really nice. Anytime I'm doing a project box, I've found that it's just easiest to find things that are round because uh, you can drill them. Whereas if you have, there's lots of parts that are square, rectangular, uh, different shapes like uh, three prong uh, AC plugs uh, have a bunch of different shapes and they're just hard to cut through this. You can do it. Uh, apparently you can like make little molds and you can burn through it. It's just a problem. It's just, it takes a lot of time, which I have very limited amount of. So uh, this was the easiest thing to do here, uh, just to get it all going um, and set up with the round connection. So pretty happy with that. I'm gonna go turn power on. We're gonna see how this thing works. Well, the good news is all the lights are back on. So now we just need to start connecting up the 12 volt pumps here. The valves, I should say. The valves, connect the valves. over there because I didn't label it. Make sure you label everything. I did it on this box, but I didn't do it on this box. I should have, shame on me. But, these are worth their weight in gold. I have it written down in here. Here it is. S1 goes to one. back so S1 is on the top. So now that comes over here. Next thing like so and S2 connects in like so. That worked out pretty nice. I'm gonna be leaving this open right now uh, because I still have to program this bad boy which is really updating the code on the Wemos uh, here. This code right here on the Mega, and the nice thing about it is that code's already written. I don't have to do anything uh, with it. It's, uh, it just looks for what relay to turn on, what GPIO to send high on that. So that's easy. And then on the Wemos, which is the computer board, the control, the brain of the box, um, I have to update it so it knows to look on the server for the settings of the lights because all these lights are are on timers that I control on the server so I can go in and I can say lights on lights off how long the lights run for and now with this setup each one of the beds will be able to be turned on and off at different times or at the same time all of them but it's all controlled from the server so I just have to update that code uh, to work which is as simple as me coming out here plugging in uh, to my programming jack and loading the code so uh, I'm going to do some tests here with the uh, relays because this is one of the problems that we had is that these relays weren't working correctly. Uh, so with the updates I made, they should. Let's go see. So now I'm inside of the building and if generator power works, 
I'll, you'll hear me on the mic. I got to go behind you and flip the switches, but you should see momentary power uh, lapses in lane one, lane two, eventually the big lights, the heater, everything's on generator out here. So uh, I'm going to go flip those over right now and give it a test. So I'm walking over to the generator switch here now. And I am flipping over lights. Backwards. That turned on though, that's good. Goes lane one. Lane two is now on generator power. Lane three is now on generator power. Lane four is now on generator power. Now I'm going to kill main power to the building. There we go. So we are now running. Uh, we are at, what is it? It's telling me here. We're at 1,500 watts. 1,500 watts running the entire building right now. I'm just going to do, so we're at 1,500 watts running the entire building off of the single generator. That's a 7,500 watt generator. The one that belongs out here is an 8,500 watt generator. Uh, it's meant to do big time when we get uh, pond heaters in, if we have to, hopefully we don't have to this year, for the uh, fish tanks. Uh, everything's running right now though. So that's way awesome. I'm just gonna go around and do some quick checks. So yeah, I'm looking at the heater here. The heater system is on. The fridge is on lane one, lane two, lane three. Double check lane four over here. Dehumidifier is on and running. Lane four is running. So now we need to check the processing lane. Processing lane has power. Give a quick shot here. That runs. Come here, Bandit. All right, this is a great test. Uh, you know, you think it was a great test too. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, you're not supposed to be in here right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah what are you doing? So, uh, tonight, it was, I'm trying to talk here. Tonight, it was a great test. Uh, of the generator system. We've got uh, Lane 2's automation system is installed, but I gotta get the software updated for it. And I need to connect the 120 volt receptacle uh, and then all the uh, valves will work. So I'm gonna try to get that done later tonight. Uh, but I think that's gonna be it for the update tonight. We got, this is what lane, all the lanes are gonna look like eventually. We gotta build this box. It took me about a day and a half to build that box. And all the well, it took me like a day and a half to build all the darn cables. Um, but I have all the tools. I have this stuff. Might as well use it up while I have it. And uh, Sean, I know you're going to ask. Thank you ahead of time for volunteering. But since I have this stuff, I'm just trying to use it up before we pay more money for stuff that I don't, you know, already have. So uh, I'm going to switch the building back over. Actually, I'm going to let it run a little while. Uh, make sure everything runs fine out here, but I'm really happy. Every, it worked. It all worked like it's supposed to. <laughs> that's so cool. Uh, that's it for tonight, folks. I hope you enjoyed this quick update video. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. In the meantime, everyone, this is The Real Marshall. Out.